Oh, hey guys, goddamn you, how are you? Welcome back to the show, as... You know, we do, or whatever. So the title of this video is New Worst Movie Ever Made, alright? Okay? I honestly don't know if this is the worst movie I've ever seen, or the greatest movie I've ever seen. What is your problem with the flag? That's not my flag. That's your flag. Too many lies been told to my people under the shadow of that flag. Boy, here we go. Here we go. So I want you to take it down. From where? Your truck. My truck, my flag. Some people find it offensive. What if I find them offensive? More chewing noises, please, in this trailer. Fourth of July's over. Take your flag down, old man. No hey. Fourth of July at my house. But this goddamn movie, it's called To Die For, which the name itself is a whole opens <laughs> opens a whole Pandora's box of problems right off the bat. This is a feature length movie made for what looks like thirty dollars. <laughs> the whole time watching this movie, I was like, <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Um, little catch, it's $15 to rent. <laughs> it's $15. I was just curious, how much to rent The Godfather right now? Oh, $3. But Okay. Yeah, excuse me, how much to rent Citizen Kane right now? Oh, $4. How much to rent Mulholland Drive right now? Oh, $4. But this one's 15 <laughs> And I'll tell you this, it's worth every penny. Three usuals plus the extra side of bacon. Here we yeah. go. Thank you. Can I freshen up y'all's coffee? Yes, please. Y'all have y'all's vaccination cards? I'm just messing with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get that jab with Baldwin's arm. <laughs> hey, hey, hang on a second. You're gonna vote. As many times as they'll let me. <laughs> you go, girl. Be right back. <laughs> the whole movie is like John Schneider was like, like he'd look up at Fox News and he would write something down. And then he would switch over to like Newsmax or whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't get that jab with Baldwin's arm. <laughs> this is his favorite joke. He tells this multiple times in the movie, and then in interviews too, is that he wouldn't get the he wouldn't get the vaccine, not even with Baldwin's arm. And I guess he's talking about Alec Baldwin. I think it just means he doesn't like Alec Baldwin. So I, that thing's so bad, I wouldn't even get it with my enemy's arm, right? <laughs> Why is Alec Baldwin? Why is Alec Baldwin your enemy? <laughs> so this is John Schneider. He's basically a Hollywood guy. He's been an actor since he was a kid, basically. He was in Dukes of Hazard, And now he's like, I guess, unless this is a brilliant troll, uh, he's like a full-on patriot. A beautiful patriot. Here we go. I feel the flag is worth dying for. So I sat down and I was inspired like never before uh -huh. to write this film. And and this, as you say, this this crazy woke society, woke nonsense that we're going through right now. Yeah. Fueled so many great lines of dialogue. Somebody asked me in here if I got the jab. Uh -huh. And I say, I wouldn't get that shot with Baldwin's arm. <laughs> so, you know, we go, we go, Look at we this go dude. everywhere. Look at this guy. That, oh man! Uh, that thank you. Belief is you can only be pushed so far, right? And they have pushed us so far. Yes. That we have got to do something. Finally. The only. Generally speaking, Chinese people look Chinese. Yeah. The other great thing about this movie is called To Die For, which there's already a movie called To Die For, very famous movie. <laughs> It's a Gus Van Sant movie. It's a great movie, which is perfect. Like everything about this movie beautifully and perfectly expresses the psyche of John Schneider, the the psyche of the sub, the sort of suburban MAGA guy. Like with the name to die for, it's like it's like, yeah, not only did I not know that this was a movie already a good movie because I don't care about I don't care about any good art or culture or any of that. And also I'm way too lazy to look it up. Yes. Take the towers down now. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Fly that flag around that school. Oh, man. So there, th this kicks off the plot. This kicks off the beautiful plot of this story, which is that John Schneider, I guess he... Oh, what's he says? An amazing name. Qu <laughs> no. Okay, so. <laughs> so our beautiful main. <laughs> so 
So our beautiful main character, our protagonist, is named Gunnery Sergeant Quint North. <laughs> Gunnery Sergeant Quint North. I don't know if this guy's really a MAGA guy or if this is just like he's like, I find my I found myself a hot new market where I can make my movie for five hundred dollars and these idiots will buy anything. But this kicks off the beautiful plot where uh this guy, Gunnery Sergeant Quint North, decides he's going he's going to drive his El Camino around with an American flag in it. Oh man. Could you mad could you imagine doing something so bold in rural Louisiana? Do you have a latte yeah, machine yeah, in there? As a matter of fact. Well, then I'll take one. Black. You can't get a latte with black. It comes with steamed milk. Is that a fact? It is. I thought black coffee mattered. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, hell yeah. This movie is like wall-to-wall -wall quips. This guy's just... Basically, the whole beginning of the movie is this guy driving around doing quips. And this one takes about an hour to set up. He's like, I don't know what a latte is. I don't know what a latte is. And then he's like, I want a latte. And this guy's like, okay. And he's like, I'll take it black. And he's like, you can't have a latte black because it has steamed milk in it. And he's like, really? And another guy's like, yeah. And then he's like, I thought black coffee mattered. <laughs> I think with all these quips, this guy is trying to be like the Fox News James Bond. Well, I seem to have fallen down a bit of a YouTube rabbit hole, and now it's formed my political beliefs entirely. Rin -da -da -din 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 -din. You kids better be careful trick-or-treating, because there's fentanyl all over those candies. And if you even look at it, you'll die. Ring -da -da -din 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 -din. <laughs> Again. Here comes the, one of the bad guys of the movie, all right? And he's supposed to be Native American, I guess. Listen to the music in the background. Of an end of cavalry. It's <laughs> great, yeah. There we go. When I look at this news, I start having an anxiety. Get up my lawn, you crazy old bull. What? I can't. I said, get that global warming piece of trash off my lawn. <laughs> And here I thought all of you liberals started calling it climate change because it was so damn cold. <laughs> Pretty good. My bad. I leave. This is supposed to be the protagonist. He's supposed to be the good guy of the movie. And uh, he just drives right up on his neighbor's lawn. <laughs> and he's the good guy, I guess, in this. Because he told you to hell. I'll call the cops. I want press charges. You want me to plant corn in the furrows? Don't your people call it maize? <laughs> <laughs> Again, he's the good guy. This is a good guy of the movie. So yeah, that's pretty much the plot of To Die For by John Schneider. Let me read you, I guess, in his words, uh, the summary. Even in this ever-changing world, some things refuse to bend. Meet Gunnery Sergeant Quint North a creature of habit and discipline. The current PC world and patriots are the enemy of progress mentality. <laughs> um, makes no sense at all to him. The propensity of athletes taking a knee and disrespecting not only this great country, <laughs> but, also those, but also those who gave their lives protecting it makes even, it makes even less. But what can one man do to fight the intentional decay of the greatest country the world has ever known? Speak out, live a patriotic example, and if necessary, die for his flag. Why? Because she's worth it. Warning. <laughs> this, is, this is what sold. This is what closed the deal for me to cough up $15 to rent, not buy. Just to rent $15. This is what closed it. Warning. This movie is intensely patriotic. If patriotism and love of the country offend you in any way, watch this film. Then move somewhere else. Filmmaker John Schneider. Hell yeah, John, brother. Okay, so this American patriot fighting for his right to drive around with a flag and to harass his neighbors is one thing. But uh, the true beauty of this movie, the thing that like Ben Shapino and all these people who are trying to make movies will never be able to get to, 
I gotta say the the just I've never seen visuals in a movie this disorienting. For some reason, a neighborhood is green screen. Just an average neighborhood that you could easily shoot in for free is green screened. Then it's not green screened, <laughs> and then it's like there's a weird Photoshop clip in the background this scene right here is a perfect example i mean it really does it really does just like throw you totally out of whack and melt your brain watch this go on up <laughs> okay seriously it's a normal What's background just, coming in? just your house too. normal handheld you told me to not just in case you're so just a good, decent normal handheld shot then we cut to a tripod shot with the worst green screen we've ever seen in our lives i mean it's just like is this a dream that he's in? Is it? Uh, is he like? It literally feels like a hallucination. It's beautiful. You're indisposed. That was a very long time ago. Normal. I haven't been indisposed in years. Go on. Uh -huh. Green screen. <laughs> look at your favorite. By the way, look at this background. Look at this. What the fuck? So somebody used just the pen tool on these plants in Photoshop. Those are completely in focus. Then we go right out of focus. Look at the ground! What the f***? This is a dream. He's in a dream. He's in some weird AI hallucinated nightmare. Okay, so that's disorienting enough. But then we get this. This is the next shot. I made your favorite. Okay, normal. Burn pancakes. They call you yet? Now handheld yeah, wide angle. Handheld no, wide it's... angle now. In just one scene, this is a scene just his daughter coming over to talk to him. And in, in just this like 30 seconds, we get we get just like, oh, this weird Photoshop nightmare. And then it cuts to going into his house. Now it's wide angle, Terry Gilliam, you know, Brazil or whatever. You're just like, where, where are we? Where are we? He's supposed to be the hero, but we're really getting this like, oh, this guy's like delusional. He sees this world in this weird 2D Photoshop way. This is not about me. Right. Oh, the flag is not about me. The flag is about you. The flag oh, wow. is about everybody. Everybody who's ever been. Everybody who ever will be. Oh. Some people don't feel that way. Some people are wrong. Yeah. You can't just tell people that they're wrong. You just did. That's different. Oh, owned. Okay, here we go. Buckle in because we got another, I mean, just like another filmmaking masterpiece. Here we go. Ready? In three, two, one, action. Here we go. Restraining order? <laughs> this is my what the f what in what was that, bro? Oh my god. They green screened this. They green screened they couldn't secure this location. They now we gotta green screen that. Yeah, uh, we need a window and a wall and a kind of a monitor faced away. Ah uh, no, we can't. How are we gonna get that? Man, we can't get that, man. No, we gotta go green on that, bro. The only explanation is that this is a this guy's hallucinating. And this is just a bizarre nightmare that this guy just lives with every day. He's showing us what happens to a peepaw, you know, who just watches Tucker Carlson and Fox News and Newsmax and a weird YouTube clips all day. This is how he sees the world, just flattened, green screen. So the, the subject is out of focus, but the background is in focus. This is the world of a peepaw. How do they see it? Come see To Die For by John Schneider, shot in peepaw vision. The subject of the shot is dark and out of focus, but the background is photoshopped and bright. Why would this Fairburn kid take a knee? Because he can. Oh, man. And I can't drive within 300 yards of the school with a flag on the back of my El Camino. A world it gone hurts mad. me as much as it does you. Somehow I doubt that, Maggie. You can it's a world gone mad. Kids taking knees in football games. You know, I can't tell my neighbor to shut up because he's Native American. This is a world gone mad, which is why we made the decision to make it the weirdest looking movie ever made. To show just how insane the world's gone. Like, look. Okay, so in a really shocking and disgusting twist, um, Lieutenant Sergeant Gunner, what is his name? Gunner Nelson or whatever. In a shocking and disgusting twist, his daughter is the one handling the case. Because I guess there's a case. <laughs> I guess there's a case, uh, there's a case of some kind against him because rural Louisiana has gone so woke and so broke uh, for for flying the American flag. And guess who's the prosecutor? That's right, none other than his own goddamn daughter, 
who's been brainwashed by the liberal pedophile media. Then go somewhere else where flags and honor and sacrifice don't matter. Mr. That's Quinn, right. This is for your own good. <laughs> I'm so tired of people telling me what's for my own good. Yep. And I'm also tired of people coming here from other countries and other places for the taxes or for the for the scenery or for whatever the hell they come here for and trying to make it like the very place they left. Right. This Finally, is someone said, This is a perfect film. If we can judge art by how well it expresses the psyche of the artist, this is, then this is a perfect film. Okay, so here's another one of the villains of the movie, the people that we hate, we want to see dead. Hey, you that ungrateful snot-nosed kid who took a knee? Yeah, 4th of July's over. Take your flag down, old man. It's always 4th of July at my house. It's pathetic. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I mean, again, this movie tops itself at, with every a next shot, with every next frame. So this is the star quarterback of this local school, this ungrateful little turd of a puke. He takes a knee. I don't know if you notice this, but he's wearing a jacket that says Rode on it. Rode microphones. <laughs> Football players, you know, they wear like the Letterman jackets or whatever. It looks like what's <laughs> It looks like what happened is they couldn't get their hands on a Letterman jacket. So like a crew member or whoever they pay whoever they're still trying not to pay who they got to do sound for this movie, gave them a Rode microphone. <laughs> gave them a Rode microphone promotional jacket. I live in Louisiana. I go to Rode Microphone Senior High. Hey, what's the name of you guys' team over there? Rode Microphone Senior High. Oh, we're the pop filters. We're the Rode Microphone Senior High pop filters. Hey, what's your, hey by the way, what's your guys' mascot? Oh, it's one of the foam things that goes over a mic. Here we go. I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> All right, remember when I said there was nonstop quips in this movie? Check, check out this zinger. Breakfast? No, I ate a lot when I was a kid. Do you want breakfast? No, I ate a lot when I was a kid. Who, who are you, do a bro Groucho Marx, dude? Who are you, one of the three stooges with this crap? What are you talking about? That's on YouTube. That's right, it is. Here we go. Now it's about to get a little bit intense. Your Honor, Mr. Quinn, like many people of his generation, is a creature of habit. Hold on, let me... That's your lawyer, bro? Okay, yeah, you're gonna be good, bro. You're gonna get, be, get a good... You're gonna get good representation, bro. That's good. Okay, no problem. Okay, and here we go now. One of the greatest scenes in the entire movie, and maybe in the history of cinema... A speech from the judge in this, in this trial. Here we go. We are all creatures of a habit, Counselor. <laughs> Having fought for my country on more than one occasion, I can identify with Mr. Quint's position on this matter. Uh -huh. Right. This new tendency to not only lenity but actual enforcement of laws that protect and often encourage prejudice against the very symbol that affords the basis for such prejudice disgusts me. <laughs> However... However... <laughs> I, I do side with General Vice Lieutenant John Schneider on this. In this woke country that we have now, you can't even fly a flag. I'm a veteran myself, and I died for that flag. I actually am dead right now. I'm actually dead right now, but I'm somehow... I'm actually dead right now, but I'm still a judge. And I, and I died on behalf of that flag. And these woke college kids and young people who say, Oh, you're old. You're too old, and you can't go to our party. You can't go to our kegger, and if you do, you got to pay $5 to get in. These kids, God damn it. This right here, this shot, is seriously like one of the most unsettling things... I've ever seen in a in anything. What it what it tells you, the viewer, is like the person making this is not right. If they're if they're cutting off like that and in doing a shot like this and the back is green screen, you're not in good hands watching this movie. So buyer beware. You're one crazy white man. <laughs> so I've been told. Hey, let me uh let me ask you a question. Okay. Shoot. Don't oh, there, there goes the music. There goes the music. Your people, my ass. Whoa! Hey. Jesus, John. You vote? No. Good. 
Whoa! Have a few more drinks, John. Okay, so on and on, we get about another hour of this, whatever this is. You know, Lieutenant Danielle Steele or whatever his goddamn name is. You know, harassing his neighbor, driving around. Then we get to yet another filmmaking visual masterpiece. Check this out. Okay, driving. Normal green Come screen. Come this time next week. Just going for a normal green screen drive. Nothing too crazy. Here we go. You're going to be an honest man again, Quentin North. Yeah. Okay, there we go. What in the hell? There we go. Okay. Not turning the wheel. <laughs> Not turning the wheel, but somehow the car is completely turning. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Bro, are you hydroplaning, dude? What's going on, bro? You all right? You mind the fort till I get back, little girl. All right. And if I don't get back. Nice haircut. Oh, shit. Somebody ought to put that dog down, put it out of its misery. Somebody ought to put you down, put you out of my misery. I have a right to take a knee. Call freedom of speech. Oh, sh oh my You're god! You're trespassing. You're on my property. <laughs> oh god, I don't like this part. The menace of Road Microphone Senior High is now he's getting into property uh, trespassing. That's the baddest looking dude I've ever seen him. <laughs> That's the baddest looking dude I've ever seen in my life. Everyone at Road Condenser Mike Senior High is terrified. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this beast. He's just overflowing with just evil and powerful energy. But uh, all of this builds, all of this tension builds, you know, with this final confrontation with the, I would say, the ultimate bad guy of all time and the perfectly cast, you know, star quarterback of the football team. If you look at this kid. It all, it all culminates to this just horrifying final confrontation with this kid. And you won't believe your ass when you see this. Bye, bitch. Oh! If I'd have wanted it up, I'd have left it up. Typical villain behavior. Don't do it, man. Don't do this. No. Oh, no, what you bro. Put out? I should get your damn foot off of her. I should get your damn foot off of her. Okay, so I think we all know what's going to happen now. He'll teach these kids a lesson, you know, that life is, a, that you can't act like this, that you can't solve things with violence. We get it. We get it. <laughs> okay, okay, John. Come on, John. So he's up there, man. Kubrick, Spielberg, Schneider. And I just want to end this with some beautiful words from the director, John Schneider himself, okay? And it's in response to one of his fans, so here we go. I did the same thing. I pre-ordered, and I didn't get to watch. Is there any way to get a refund for the pre-order? <laughs> Thanks. And then John Schneider, this is such a beautiful reply, he says, there are no refunds. <laughs> you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll always remember when he said that. You know, it's really just such a, I, it's just such an inspiring thing, you know? So God bless a true patriot, a true American, Lieutenant John Schneider, at, uh, reporting for duty, for reporting for service. Sir, yes, sir, yes, chef. Love you guys so much. We're making it through the week. Oh my God, it's Wednesday. That's, you know, not the best, but also not the worst. Love you guys so much. And speaking of green screen, <laughs> speaking of green screen, love you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, hey guys. Guess what? You're not even getting the whole show. If you want every episode and a whole bunch of other sh**, subscribe on Patreon. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. Just click the stupid little link below the video in the comments. See, right there. There you go. Click it and that, yep. When you become a patron for as little as two bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday, patron-only episodes. Ah! You also get the weekly book oblega show where we talk about important books. The questions and comments th thing where you can ask questions and make comments and all this crap. And the weekly behind-the-scenes show. All for less than the price of a rancid Charleston chew. And for only 25 putrid little dollars, you could become a producer. That's right, support the show and get your name up here. Look at these people. Look at these, these people, it make the show possible. 
Okay? God. I mean, without these beautiful people, this show goes straight into the dumpster. A rotten, you know, just wet, disgusting dumpster. You know, behind a restaurant. So it's there's old milk in there. That's where this show ends up without these people. Is that what you want? Okay, I guess it's what- Okay, no, I guess it's what you want. I'll just leave. Nope, 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 it's done. It's too late. Okay? Okay? Here we go. Here's the dump truck. Here's the dump truck. Come to pick up the show. This is what would happen with no producers. Thank you.